Hi folks, it's Max from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com. So I've got a quick uh, ROM of the week. Uh, this week is the Pac-Man ROM. Um, now this is the latest Android 4.2.2 uh, Pac-Man ROM. Um, this is actually one of my favorite ROMs and uh, I was going to actually review it. Um, but the last time I was going to try to do it, uh, it was kind of weird. Uh, is, this is supposed to be a mix of AOKP and uh, CM10.1. And also Paranoid Android. Um, last time, the last version didn't have the regular Paranoid Android settings. It was using the exposed app settings. Uh, and basically what's happening is every ROM developer now is using exposed app settings to make their ROM sort of like uh, Paranoid Android. But this is the true Paranoid Android um, since it actually has the Paranoid Android settings. Because you can get the Paranoid Android settings if you want. Uh, what this will do is allow you to set different colors the notification bar um, for your apps for example if I'm running uh, the, the Google Play Store uh, you'll see that the uh, the colors change up on the top um, so you can kind of customize some of the colors um, kind of cool that's paranoid Android colors and also of course you can uh, one of the coolest thing about paranoid Android is the it's inventor of pretty much the hybrid uh, phablet mode you can change your whole interface here. Right now it's in phone mode. You can change your tablet, tablet mode, have your notification bar at the bottom just like a tablet. Um, all of that good stuff and also you can change per app basis. Uh, go to apps here. If you want to run Gmail, uh, browser, you know, make it smaller, make the fonts smaller. All of that stuff you can change the DPI here. Um, basically the DPI here. That will kind of change the font size overall font size and overall screen size and also uh, 600p is pretty much for tablet mode 360p is for phone mode and uh, you can also change the app colors here status bar navigation bar so that is really nice and on top of that you get the full ROM control settings um, you know you can customize it now there are some missing things uh, with AOKP but most of it's there like hardware back to kill um, so you can get you know kill all button there and also you do get uh, you know lock screen stuff here um, you can enable all widgets which is what AOKP is really good at and uh, they're pioneers of the lock screen uh, there is no lock screen shortcuts for some reason that's the only thing missing and uh, other than that you get the full uh, ROM control settings here um, but pretty good ROM and if you want to get the best of AOKP paranoid Android and also CM 10.1 and also it's very stable this is one of the you know most stable developers paranoid Android um, that's kind of the main reason I use uh, you know paranoid Android ROMs and also Pac-Man is kind of built off that and uh, AOKP um, so it should be pretty darn solid a mix of you know all those three ROMs uh, check it out if you haven't it's available for your AT&T Galaxy S2 and also it's available for the uh, GTI 9100 um, both so check it out for uh, both phones. I'm actually running this on both my phones. Uh, but pretty solid, pretty good battery life. Uh, performance should be pretty good. Uh, but think about all the customizations you can do. And uh, Android 4.2.2, of course, which is really nice. Um, so check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And uh, do let me know what you think of this ROM. And uh, as always, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at... Uh, GalaxyS2Root.com, we update you once a week with Ron Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys later. I just got here in Bangkok. Um, I'm going to go check it out <laughs> and learn some new cultures. And see you all later.